Okay, so just thought I'd add that at the start because it is the countdown to Christmas, uh, day 21, I think, day 21 or 22. So it's gonna add that Christmas music in the background because make it a bit more exciting because it's kind of boring just watching me talking to the camera for about 10 minutes. So today in the episode I'm going to be talking about my top 5 Christmas films of all time. Well, yeah, of all time. So coming in at number 5 is a film I saw two years ago because me and my brother wanted to get a Christmas film just to watch that night because we have nothing else to do really. So we were just looking around all the Christmas DVDs, it wasn't any we really liked. Um, so we just picked up this one, it's called Grounded. So yeah, we just saw it, decided to buy it, and I actually thought it was pretty good. It was better than I thought it was going to be, because it, it didn't really look that good, just looking from the back. It says, a dynamic, fun-filled adventure with a whole family that was a charming appeal. Uh, it kind of sounds like a kitty film, kitty Christmas film, but I actually liked it, so which was surprising for me. Uh, a snowstorm, well, this is what it's about, a snowstorm has cancelled all flights at Hoover International and all are stranded. That's bad news for most, but for children shuttling unaccompanied from one place to another, it's a ticket for adventure. Tyler James Williams from Everybody Gets Chris, Dylan Christopher from Sea Biscuit, and Brett Kelly from Bad Santa are among the stranded teens who put aside differences to elude airport authority and help make a little girl happy in this lively comedy. The kids are loose, so was the fun. But before I go any further, I just want to say these are out of all the Christmas films I've actually seen. There is a lot I haven't seen, so this is just based on the ones I have seen. So yeah, Grounded is number 5. I would give this out of 10, I would give this about a 6.9, a 6 point something. I can't really decide, but yep, yeah, if you want to buy this, you can get it off Amazon. It's probably like 3 quid or something, really cheap, so... Yep, definitely recommend checking that out if you want to. So, yep, it's a good film. So that's number five. Coming in at number four is a film I watch every year and I really, really enjoy it. It is The Grinch, starring Jim Carrey. Uh, if you don't know what this is about, then it's a bit weird because I'm pretty sure everyone's seen The Grinch. Uh, it is a really good movie, but it doesn't make my top three because there are other films I like more, so yeah. If you haven't seen it, I'll tell you what it's about. It says, on, well this is on the back anyway, You better watch out, he's green, he's mean, and he hates Christmas. The Grinch is a bad-tempered, hairy green creature who lives in the cave atop Mount Crumpet, overlooking the village of Whoville. And the Who's of Whoville frantically prepare for their Yuletide, I have no idea what that says, celebrations. The Grinch decides to put a stop to Christmas once and for all, and steals all their presents and decorations on Christmas Eve. Only to finally come to learn that the true spirit of Christmas goes much deeper than tinsel and toys. The hilarious Jim Carrey spectacularly brings the Grinch to life in his magical live-action comedy, which is based on the wonderfully quirky and well-loved book, Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So, out of 10, I would give this a 7. It's good, but it does get annoying with all the rhyming and stuff. Well, that is what Dr. Seuss is all about, but in a film it does get quite annoying if you keep watching it and stuff, so... Yeah, by the song. If, by the way, if you want to know what the song is, it's "I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day" by Wizard. I uh, heard that song ages ago, so I kind of like it. Anyway, so this is the Grinch, and that's number four. Uh, pretty good film, so pick it up anywhere from us to Tesco on anywhere online, really. So, yep, that's the Grinch, number four. Number three is a film I saw last Christmas Eve with my family in the cinema. Uh, it was really, really good, and it only came out on DVD uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think, two or three weeks ago, and I just I pre-ordered it because um, I really wanted to watch it. I'm watching a Christmas movie every day in December, so that's why I wanted to get this. Um, Arthur Christmas, it's actually really, really good. Um, yeah, it came out last year. Uh, I made it into my top three, so it is number three. Um, I'll read the back. How can Santa deliver billions of presents to the whole world in just one night? With an army of one million combat style field elves and a vast state of the art control centre under the ice of the North Pole, how could this incredible operation have missed one child? To Santa's young son Arthur, it threatens to end the magic, end the magic of Christmas. With the retired Grand Santa, a rebellious young elf, and an old sleigh and some untrained reindeer, Arthur sets out on a crazy mission to deliver the last present. 
deck the halls with excitement, fun, and wonder in this new Christmas classic. Yep, Arthur Christmas, number three. Comes with a UV copy. That, well, that's what it says there, so... Yeah. It's a really, really good film. I definitely, definitely recommend you see this. Give it a watch. I know it seems kiddie and childish, but... Who cares? It's a Christmas film. So really good. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. And I can't wait to watch. I'm watching this next week on DVD. So, yep. That's number 3, Arthur Christmas. So, I'm down to my final two. Um, number one was definitely... That's uh, always been my favourite movie. Um, so, number two is this film. I saw this... Well, it came out in cinemas four years ago. And I never went to see it, which I regret. So... Then 2009 came, I got the DVD, and I watched this every 1st of December, it's just kind of a, um, what's the word, uh, I forgot the word, it's like a ritual, not a ritual, uh, how have I forgotten this freaking word, this is really pissing me off, sorry for the swearing, but, um, it is a, this is really embarrassing, how the hell have I forgotten this word, um, it's, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter, right, it's Fred Claus, number two, um, it's got quite a lot of hate on IMDb and stuff, but I really liked it, and I don't care what other people think about it, I really liked it, so that's why I choose it for number two, so I'm just going to read, the, well, this is the back here, I'm going to read the back, it says, Santa's brother is coming to town, this is a story you've never heard before, a hilarious and heartwarming comedy about Fred Claus, Santa's brother and the complete opposite, after growing up in saintly Nick's shadow, um, Fred becomes a grouch who's lost his belief in Christmas. Then, on a magical December, Fred flies north, first class via reindeer, to find his brother Nick is in trouble. A scheming efficiency expert is shut down, is out to shut down Christmas forever. Expect fun by the sleighful as Fred helps to save Christmas and rediscovers the gift of family. Join Vince Vaughn, Paul Giamatti, Miranda Richardson, Rachel Wise's Kate, Kathy Bates, Kevin Spacey, and more in a Yuletide. What the frick does Yuletide mean? Um, treat to enjoy for years to come. So, it's Fred Claus. I really, really recommend this. It's a really good Christmas film. Pick this up. Yeah, oh yeah I said I picked it up three years ago, but... Yeah, I guess I picked it up. I'm really sorry, but... It is a really, really good film, so I definitely recommend you buy it on DVD to watch this... This month. So, yeah, watch with your family, watch with yourself, watch with friends, whatever. It's a really good film. So, if you haven't seen it, just pick it up. So yeah, how many freaking times have I said pick it, pick it up in this video? Sorry, it's a bit annoying. So number one uh, is a DVD that has always been my favorite Christmas film. It came out in two thousand and three. I'm pretty sure you already know what it is. Elf, starring Will Ferrell. I I think this is a lot of people's favorite Christmas film. It is mine because it's really funny and yeah, Will Ferrell is just a comedy legend, pretty much. So yeah, I'll read the back. It says. Once upon a Christmas Eve, an orphan, orphan baby crawled into Santa's bag of gifts and was taken to the North Pole. Raised by Papa Elf, played by Bob Newhart, Buddy, played by Will Ferrell, comes to realise he doesn't fit in with the other elves. Determined to find a place where he belongs, Buddy searches for his real dad in New York City. In the Big Apple, Buddy finds out why his dad, played by James Caan, is on the naughty list. But more importantly, he sees that the world is seriously lacking in Christmas spirit, which causes Santa all kinds of problems. So with the help of a beautiful department store elf, played by Zoe Deschanel, but, uh, Buddy tries to teach his dad the, and the world of the true meaning of Christmas spirit and to prove that to everyone that Santa, played by Ed Asner, really exists. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend you buy this if you haven't seen it yet. Um, if you haven't seen it, that's just weird, but you really need to check this out if you haven't seen it. Um, yep, yeah. so... Elf comes in at number one, so I'm gonna go over them again, just so, you know. Number five, Grounded. Number four, The Grinch. Number three, Arthur Christmas. Number two, Fred Claus. And number one, Elf. So yeah, if you did stick through this whole 10 minute video, I thank you for watching. Tomorrow will be my least five favourite Christmas films. Um, I don't have them on DVD, so I'll just tell you what they are instead of showing you a DVD um, stuff. So, 
please tune in tomorrow for day number either 21 or 22. 20. Um, the reason it's like that is because the videos are all leading up to uh, the 23rd of December where me and either Chris, if Chris wants to, right, the reason because Chris uh, just wants to start fresh on YouTube as I already said, so if he doesn't want to go to Bloomfields on Christmas, uh, 23rd of December, uh, I'll just go with my sister and then we can do the vlog there, so um, it depends, I don't know what day this is, but I'll try and figure it out by tomorrow, so thank you very very much for watching, uh, I'm Johnny from JCTV UK, goodbye.